Hi, my name is Roy Canterbury. I'm going to be your host today on Archer Talk 101. What we're going to cover today is going to be shot placement when you're shooting at either a, a 3D type of a target, it would be at an animal shaped target, or shooting uh, at a, an animal while you're out hunting. Uh, to start with, we're going to go over a little bit of the differences between them and as well as the uh, shot where the shot placement's at. Now, let's start with the 3D targets. Uh, they, they come in various kinds of sizes and shapes, you know, from, uh, you know, rabbits, squirrels, uh, turkeys, bear, uh, uh, pigs. Uh, you have your deer, your elk, your gators, uh, pretty much any animal out there. They've pretty much got some kind of a target for them. And the way they set up the scoring rings on them is they have an outer ring. Uh, inside of that ring is, is eight points. And outside the ring, if you hit the animal any place, they count it as five points. And then inside that eight ring, there's going to be another ring that's a little bit closer, and that's going to be your 10 ring inside of there. And those are a little bit smaller. Those are normally sized right about the size of what would normally be the kill zone on that animal. And then some targets now have a smaller ring in there, and they call it the 12 ring. So you're, you have the capability on, on those targets if the 3D event is uh, scoring it as a 12 ring uh, of getting 12 points per shot. Otherwise, it's just normal 10. Uh, now, where are you going to place them? Uh, you know, looking at it through a binocular, you can see where the rings are at on most your animals. Uh, so you're going to take and find where the, the 12 ring is. Now, sometimes that 12 ring is at the bottom of the 10 ring. So if you go for that and you miss the 12 ring, you're into the eight ring. So you need to decide what you want to go for and those that have them. Uh, most of them are, are going to be on there someplace, either centered or down low. Uh, so you, you're going to make your shot based on the front side where the target is. Uh, whether you're shooting the same height, you're shooting higher, uh, whatever the angle is, you're still going to aim for that spot. So once you judge the yardage, get your yardage down, make your shot, uh, you're scoring on the front side of the target. Now, the, the difference you're gonna come into is when you start looking at shooting it at a real animal, now the angle makes a difference. So kind of the meat of uh, what we'll cover today is, is gonna be more in uh, how to make that proper shot placement mm -hmm. on an animal. So we're gonna start off with a deer because that's probably the most popular archery target is your deer and possibly your elk, uh, you know, and then turkeys. So I'm gonna use an example, I'm gonna use the deer. So now if you're on the ground, the same levels they are, then you're just gonna shoot kind of similar to what you would on your 3D targets. Now, a lot of archery is done from elevated positions, whether it's be on top of a hill or in, in a tree stand, uh, there you're from an elevated spot. So now then let's take a look at you take that same spot and now you're up shooting at a higher angle. And now your entrance on that front side is mid range or a little bit low on the, on the, the target. Well, that arrow is going to exit out the bottom. So you could go in there and, you know, because the, the heart is actually in the center, not on the outside edge. So you need to allow for that. So as you shoot, you go through at an angle, your exit holes at the bottom. Well, all the internal organs are going to plug up that uh, uh, that exit hole, so you don't have a, a lot of uh, uh, you know tracking capability when you do that. So what you want to do is actually go in and shoot for the exit. Where do you want the exit to come through? Uh, you want to look at uh, you know all the different. There's a lot of things to, to look at. The different things to look at is you know what is your angle to your target. Are you really high? So you're going to have a real sharp angle going through it. Uh, is it going to be a little bit lower? Uh, you want to think about all that and, and be thinking about that, you know, prior to even going out uh, and doing any, any hunting. Uh, you want to take and take a look at, you know, where the arrow would be going through your target. You know, would it be going side to side, front to back, back to front? Uh, is it going to be entering real high, going out real low, entering low and staying low? or if he's shooting uphill, entering low and going out high. So uh, you, there's a lot of factors involved in determining where you want to actually place that shot. Range finders definitely help in, in doing that. If you're out hunting and you have the chance to use a range finder, uh, by all means use it. It can definitely show uh, the proper distance to shoot it for. Because if you're out shooting it, uh, 
25 yards and it at, and the target is actually 30 yards, you're going to be shooting a little bit low. And then if you're already aiming low, you could actually shoot low if you're aiming too high. So, you know, the shot placement on a stationary foam 3D target is nice in the fact that you don't have to worry about the angle that you're shooting at. That's where the arrow impacts the target. Uh, but when you're shooting in a non-foam target, uh, you need to worry about, you know, what's what's the um, internal structure of your target? You know, what does it look like? Is your actual target going to be further forward or further back? What the angle is, uh, you know, taking your your high angle shots can be very risky. Uh, you know, if you're shooting uh, really high in order to get a good penetration through there, you may have to just go slightly off the spine. I mean, that can be a tough shot to go through. You know, target where you have, uh, you know, hard, hard spots in there to, to go through. Uh, so there, there's a lot of difference in in how you make the shots, whether you're shooting at a foam or a, a non-foam target. So you just want to make sure you do a lot of practicing. Uh, shoot from standing on heels, shooting at such a target. If you can go out and do a lot of 3D shooting, that really helps you in judging and figuring out, you know, how to keep your bow level. Uh, when you're shooting, you know, because one of the things you're going to be in your shot placement is, you know, as you move up at, for further distance, uh, now if you're not holding the bow level and, and, and you're going to be shooting off the side. So, you know, just think about that, you know, you're holding it straight up and down. And now then as you turn the bow sideways slightly, now then as your top pin is actually moved uh, to the right so now you move it back where you're supposed to now your next pin is actually left so in order to be right you're going to have to move it out to be on spot but you're not so you're shooting off the left as you're pointing down you're going further and further left on your on your pins so you want to make sure that if you're going the other way so shooting on hills you know that can be a challenge uh, on shot placement uh, where you're having just uh you know, non-stable base, you know, you're, you're, you might have your toes pointing downhill or pointing uphill. And so you have to lean into the, the hill to stand up. So as you lean forward, you might have a tendency to tilt that bow. So that shot placement is going to be very important, important in order to figure out which pin you want to use. Uh, and then are you tilting the bow? And then if you're tilting the bow, now you're going to be off. So you get to make sure you're compensating for that. You know, that's why, you know, having a range finder definitely helps on doing the proper distance. And then having a level on your site can really be uh, an important thing to have on there. Because if you take a glance at that site, the level on your site, come to full draw, get your anchor point, glance down at the level, make sure your bow is level, and then that'll compensate for any uh, inconsistency in your feet placement, you know, whether you're on a hill, uh, you know, or if you have to point straight down the hill. You know, now how do you stand or straight up the hill? You know, so it all depends on your feet placement, you know, how they're in there and what you're going to do to compensate for it. So that shot placement can be very important. Uh, and it really helps a lot if you start off with uh, doing your 3D shoots and going to those and practicing uh, shooting at different angles. Uh, sometimes you have obstacles to shoot in between there. So you need to look at, uh, say your target is 20, 20 yards away, but yet you have an obstacle that's in your way at 10 yards. Well, you need to know how your bow reacts or, or even uh, uh, say you're shooting at a 40 yard shot. Now using that 40 yard shot, but you have a branch that is over in front of it that you have to shoot underneath or uh, uh, top of. Uh, now you need to look at, uh, you know, what is that 20 yards? You know, you're using your 40 yard pin and maybe there's a branch at 20 yards and your pin's actually sitting right on that. Well, you're going to hit the branch, you know, not your target. So you need to look at everything between you and the target. Is there any obstacles in there? Now, if there's nothing in your way, then you don't have to worry about it. Uh, if you have a vertical uh, opening, then you don't have to worry about it. But it's when you have those horizontal openings that you have to think about, you know, what is above your arrow, what is below it? Because remember, in one of our previous ones to show, you know, what is the short yardage shot? How do you shoot those? So it's like you're shooting and you, you're shooting at your 20 yard shot, but yet where you're standing, you have uh, a branch at 10 yards. And 
what are you going to hit? So like on my bow that at, at 10 yards or at uh, 10 feet, rather, uh, you know, five at uh, five, 10 feet, my, my last pin, my 60 or 70 yard pin is going to be sitting right at that target. So that's why you need to practice at the short range and see what your arrow does at different distances, you know, starting out at five feet and, and work back and see what is your arrow going? What pin do I have to use at that real short yardage and then at different ranges? So now when you get on a target, when you have obstacles in the way, you can look at the obstacle judge to yardage to your obstacle and then determine, okay, if I was to hit that, I would use this pin and then check that pin, make sure it's not actually on your, your obstacle that's in front of you and your target. So that, you know, shot placement is something that you got to practice every day, uh, not every day, but, you know, you practice as much as you can, because that's going to help you make the, the shot that you're actually looking for and not have to worry about, uh, oh, I, I hit this branch on the way and, and you didn't think about it. So there's a lot of things to think about when you're doing it, but it's that, you know, knowing your equipment is the thing. So practice is going to do that and get out there and practice as much as you can and know your equipment, know your ability and take care of uh, your equipment, you know, have it checked out. If you don't know how to do it yourself, you know, find somebody that you trust to do it. And a lot of archers don't like, but you know, a couple of people maybe working on their equipment, you know, they, they trust the person that's working on them. And, you know, that's where a, you know, a good bow tech could come in and take a look at your, your equipment, make sure it's right. But you also need to know the basic things on how to take care of your, your equipment and know when there's something going wrong. So, you know, that, that's another whole uh, podcast or, or instruction on how to know what your equipment's doing and when something's going wrong, how to find it. And so, you know, we'll cover that in a, a later one. But for right now, we just wanna make sure your shot placements are good. You want to make sure your shooting form is is right on too because a little variation in your form you know you're at a weird angle and you're not able to execute that shot so you need to practice it in multiple different directions and and different uh, situations and if you're having trouble you know getting a good group uh, there you might want to look into you know getting an archery coaching uh, uh, program get in one of those and you know Speaking of archery coaching, I, I have an archery coaching program. It's an online version of it where you'll meet with uh, uh, myself or another archery instructor and we'll critique uh, what you're doing live. Uh, so you don't have to depend on looking at a video and trying to see what you're doing because kind of tell what you're doing. You know, when I, when I shoot, I have a coach that looks at what I'm doing. So I can, because it's hard to see what yourself is doing and correct, but somebody else can see it for you. And I'll leave a link into the uh, description down here uh, where you can apply to get in that program. Uh, I don't take a lot of students, uh, so that's why I have an application so, to make sure that uh, the program is for you and you're going to get the best out of it. So I'll leave a link for that. Another option you have is uh, joining a Facebook group that uh, will help you through your, your problems and questions. You can post questions and, and you'll have an archery instructor or bow tech in there that can answer it. And that is uh, Archer Talk 101 Facebook group. I joined that and I'll leave a link for that in the description below uh, where you can go in and you can post questions and pictures and videos and you know get some help there. Uh, and then uh, also you can go out to the archertalk101.com website and there is post uh, uh, information on shooting form, shooting techniques, how to work on your bow, as well as some of the tools and equipment that uh, I recommend uh, you, you get and use. Uh, so there's links out there for that. So once again, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for listening to, uh, to this. And uh, my name is Roy Canterbury, and I've been your host today on Archer Talk 101.